Let's learn how to find side lengths of a right triangle. There are two scenarios. The first one is when you already know two sides. Then you use a square plus b square equals c square. And I've already shown you how to use this formula to find the side lengths. If you want to refresh your memory, I've added the link at the top of my screen. Okay, so today I will show you scenario number two, which is when you only know one side length of a right triangle. This is when you use so ka toa, so sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, so let's do some examples of this today. Okay, so we have a right triangle given to us, and we need to determine the length of x, y to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Now, the first thing we do is we label our triangle. Okay, the longest side of a triangle is always your hypotenuse. And then we look at our angle, which is right here. So the side that is opposite to the angle given is your opposite side. And the side that is adjacent to your angle, or the only side that is left, is your adjacent. Okay, now, we have our sides labeled. Now we need to determine what ratio we're going to use. So this first ratio here is SOH. So the S here stands for sine theta equals to, O stands for opposite side, so opposite, H stands for hypotenuse. So sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so the second ratio is CAH, so the C stands for cos theta equals to, A stands for adjacent, so adjacent over hypotenuse. H stands for hypotenuse. Now the last ratio is T stands for tan theta equals to O stands for opposite over adjacent. A stands for adjacent. Now these ratios are really important and you need to memorize these. So all you need to do is memorize so ka toa. Okay, so we have the ratios written down. Now let's write down what's given to us. Okay, so the angle or theta is 61 degrees. Hypotenuse is 17.4 centimeters. Now let's write down what we need to find. So that is the length of x and y which is the opposite side right here. Okay, so the opposite is something that we need to find. Okay, so let's figure out which ratio we're going to use. We have opposite and hypotenuse here. And when we look at the ratios, we have opposite and hypotenuse here. So we will be using sine. Okay, so now we're going to manipulate our ratio and isolate the variable that we're solving for, which is the opposite. So we're dividing opposite side by hypotenuse. We do the opposite. We multiply hypotenuse to cancel them. What we do to the one side, we do it to the other side. So let's multiply hypotenuse on the other side as well. This and this cancel each other out. We are left with opposite equals hypotenuse multiplied by sine of theta. Okay, so let's plug in the numbers and calculate. Okay, so when you're calculating sine of 61 in your calculator, you just press sine and write down 61. You're not going to use the second function for this question. We only use second function when we calculate angles. So sine of 61 is 0 0.8746. OK, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply these two numbers so we can get our final answer. That is 15.2 centimeters. So the length of the opposite side is 15.2 centimeters. Okay, so let's do another example. We need to find the length of FH. So the first thing we do is we label our triangle. So this is our right angle right here. And the side that is opposite to this, or the side that is the longest, is called your hypotenuse. Now we look at our angle, which is given to us right here, and the side that is opposite to the angle is called opposite. Now the third side, or the side that is left, is called adjacent. Okay, so let's write down the information that's given to us, what's known. So the angle, or theta, is 50 degrees, and hypotenuse is 5.0 centimeters. And we need to find side FH, or adjacent. Okay, so let's figure out which ratio we're going to be using. We have hypotenuse and adjacent here, and we have hypotenuse and adjacent here. So we will be using cos theta equals to adjacent over hypotenuse to find the length of adjacent side. Okay, so let's manipulate our ratio to isolate the variable that we're solving for, that is adjacent, A. We're dividing adjacent by hypotenuse, so we're going to multiply it to cancel it out. What we do to the one side, we do it to the other side. This and this cancel each other out. We are left with adjacent equals to hypotenuse multiplied by cos theta. Okay, so let's plug in the numbers. So when you calculate cos of 50 degrees, you just press cos and type 50. You're not going to use the second function. Okay, so let's do that. So cos of 50 is 0 0.6428. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply these two numbers to get the final answer. So the final answer is 3.214 or 3.2 centimeters. Let's do another example. In this example, we have to find the length of GH, so this side right here. Now, let's label the triangle first. Now, this is our right angle. And the side that is opposite to this and the longest side is always called the hypotenuse. Now our angle is given right here, 50 degrees. The side that is opposite to this is the opposite side. Now the side that is left, the third side, is called the adjacent side. Okay, so let's write down what's given to us. So we know theta, or angle, is 50 degrees. We know adjacent side is 11.2 centimeters. And we need to find opposite side. So we have opposite and we have adjacent. So the ratio that has opposite and adjacent is 10. So we will use 10 to solve this question. So the ratio is 10 theta equals opposite over adjacent. We need to isolate O. We're dividing O by A. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to multiply it. So what we do to the one side, we do it to the other side. 
So this and this cancel each other out and we are left with opposite equals to adjacent multiplied by 10 theta. Now let's plug in the numbers and calculate. Now when you calculate 10 or 50 degrees, you just simply press 10 on your calculator, no need to use the second function, and press 50. And you will get 1.192. Now simply go ahead and multiply these two numbers, you will get 13.3 as your answer. So the side length is 13.3 centimeters. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page.